This video is brought to you by Sporland. Quality, integrity, and tradition. Today we have an exhaust fan issue. Now I've already got some covers taken off, but what's happening, this exhaust fan is not running, okay? Um, the motor's not hot. It's warm just because the sun's been hitting it, but we pulled the cover off, it was not hot. The first thing that we did was we opened up the switch right here and we checked power and we did not have three phase power. So then we went downstairs to the breaker panel. We opened up the breaker panel, we checked three phase at the breaker panel and it's good. We have three phase leaving the breaker. But then I came back up here and I checked right here and I do not have three phase right here. So this is power coming up. What I have is like 27 volts from line to line and then 208 volts from one line to line. It's like it's just intermittent. That's why I was thinking it was a bad breaker. But we've got an electrical short somewhere below the roof deck. So this is a problem. We need to go downstairs and look at the connection points from the breaker to until it comes up to here. So it's a long story, but these motor starters are bypassed. If you look right here, I'm gonna show you guys something. I have power turned off. I think it's for this one, but look at. Notice how this wire is moving, but the bottom one isn't. I don't think we're making a good electrical connection. All right, this is not ideal, but because they have the motor starters bypassed, this becomes a junction point because these motor starters have failed and they had a loose wire, we tightened it up. So this red wire was a problem. So we went ahead and reconnected it. We're going to, uh, actually I'm gonna fix a few things really quick. So because of that single phasing, it ruined the motor. I don't know if I'm going to have any luck finding this motor. I pulled, it's like a power pack assembly out. What we're going to do is we're going to do a temporary swap. Now this is a much smaller fan, but I've done this in the past. Swap it over to that one so at least they have something because that's a more critical spot than this one. So. All right, we're back. We were able to find a motor. We uh, had to drive all over the place to get it, so it's been a day. Um, but we're just getting ready to go back up. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible, so tool bag, electrical fittings. We're gonna replace conduit, wire, cord, got electrical fittings, bandsaw, rope. And then over here, we're currently working on assembling this motor back in here um, and putting the wheel back on it. So the customer did survive a day, they're fine. We're uh, gonna have to reassemble it. We've got this fan still taken in pieces because we pulled the power pack assembly out. So we're gonna put that back together, and then at the last minute, we'll take that fan that we put there temporarily, unhook it, and put it back over here. But we're gonna leave that one running the entire time while we're assembling this fan. All right, took this fan, put it back on that one. We're not worried about hooking that up yet because this is the critical fan. We've got it all wired so we can make the junction in here. So we're ready to slap it on, put the hinges back on. All right, we got this guy up and running. We tested rotation, now we're testing current. It's allowed to run 2.9 amps, we're running 2.5, so we're right on the money. So we're gonna close this guy up, and then uh, it's moving some air, they'll be happy, and we're gonna wire this one in now. All right, we are back on and running, every fan is working. Now, the customer has requested that I replace this fan, because it's leaking grease, this fan right here, because it's damaged and leaking grease, that fan right there, because it's, uh, um, has a bad motor. So this fan is stained and this fan is stained, but this fan also needs a downspout. So we gotta figure out how to get a downspout for this fan so that way it goes into the grease thing. Now the reason why I said we're replacing the fans, I'm also gonna talk them into let me fix those motor starters or the VFDs. We need to get rid of those and put in traditional motor starters. They don't use the VFD system anymore. Um, so uh, they've been holding off you know, whatever. But anyways, I'm gonna talk them into that. This one right here, I ended up having to tape the cover because it's all busted, but I'm not gonna bother changing it because we're gonna be changing the fan, and that's gonna happen. They've already approved the fan, so, um, but we just had to get this one up and running ASAP, so that way they had an exhaust fan. So we're going good for now. We're gonna wrap this up, and again, we are gonna be coming back to change these other fans, and then we'll fix that electrical. So it's kind of funny. What actually started this whole exhaust fan service call, well, not really started, but the previous week to getting this service call, I was actually out at the location, and um, the customer called me out there because they said they had grease leaking everywhere. That's what actually started the customer approving to replace some different fans. But interestingly enough, the fans are leaking grease, but it's really not that bad. 
the picture that I'm showing you right now, they were they got a visit from the health inspector and the health inspector freaked out when they were outside looking at their grease trap because they saw all this grease on their planter box area. And they're like, there's grease leaking from the roof. So they called me out there and uh, now, um, you know, they called me out there to figure out why there was grease everywhere. What it was from was the grease cleaners. The grease cleaners just dumped out a fan on the roof. And then all that grease and whatever, you know, product they put in there to break up the grease before they do whatever they do with it just went all the way down the roof drain and got all over the floor. So that's what called me out there in the first place, right? And then they're like, what's wrong with our fans? They're all leaking. And I was like, well, they're kind of leaking, but they're, you know, the main problem is someone just poured grease down the drain. Like almost like they just took the fans when they were full of grease and just dumped them on the roof and then rinsed it down or something like, and they didn't even, the grease cleaners didn't even do a good job cleaning the the fans themselves the fans are still covered in grease like it's just kind of dumbfounding and it's interesting because then you know i talked to the customer and i said look you know the main problem is someone just poured grease down the drain like that's the problem you do have they have one fan that's damaged severely they have one fan that has a bad motor and they typically don't like changing motors in these fans now the particular one that i fixed in this video was a critical one so they couldn't wait a couple weeks for a new fan um, and down at the end though, they have, I mentioned they have a fan down at the end. That's not working. It's a 115 volt fan. They don't want to fix that one. They said, just replace it. I, I it kind of dumbfounds me, but whatever. So they don't want to do that. So I'm going to give them a quote to replace that. Actually, I already gave them quotes. They said, just do it. So we're going to do that far fan. We're going to do the one that's damaged that I swapped over. And then we're going to do their fry fan because the seals around the fans are leaking and they do get grease build up slowly on the fans. It's not you know, what caused all the stuff downstairs, but it is what it is. So then I was out there last week for that. Then they called me on Saturday and they're like, Hey, my exhaust fans, what's going on? And I was, you know, and I was really confused because they, the customer wasn't very informed. They were like, so what's the deal? Are you ordering a new fan? And I was like, yeah, we're ordering a couple new fans. But I said, why are you calling me? And they're like, well, because it's kind of smoky in the kitchen. And I'm like, well, all your exhaust fans are working minus that little one down at the end that really doesn't do anything. I go, so do you think you have an exhaust fan not working? And they're like, well, no, like they, they couldn't give me a, a real answer. And I was like, I'm willing to come out. Do you want me to come out and look at it? And they're like, no, no, no. And then come like Tuesday or something like that. They said, come out here. We have a fan not working. So it's just so weird. It's just, and this is happening more and more. It's like a lack of communication. You know, management doesn't understand how, you know, because there's a lot of new managers in these restaurants and different things, and they don't understand how to check things and make sure they're working. I mean, when I ask you on the phone, is your exhaust fan working? And they say, yeah, it's working. Okay. Do you want me to come out? No, no. We just were wondering where the new fans were, you know? And it's like, okay, but if you have a fan down, you know, like that's why I try to tell them. And they're like, no, 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 no. I think they're all working. It's like, okay, whatever. You know, I'm not going to do, you know, I'm not going to like do their job for them. So if they tell me not to come, I'm not going to come. But then all of a sudden later in the week, they're like, we need you here now. So anyways, I go out there, obviously find that there was an electrical short. We chased the short. Once we fixed the short, we found out that we had single phased a motor for so much time. The whole motor smelt completely burnt. Um, luckily I was able to find that motor, but it was, it was a pain in the butt. We had to drive all the way all over the place to go get it actually out to Anaheim. Um, which if you're in Southern California, that's about an hour and change for an hour or so, um, from my shop in traffic, it took about an hour and a half, but anyways, so we got the motor in, you know, it wasn't ideal. The, the price of the motor was stupid expensive. It was like 800 bucks. Um, it's just nuts for the customer's cost. It was kind of crazy how much the fan motor costs on the flip side. You know, I can only do what the customer wants me to do. Ideally, I think they need to go back to belt drive. I know a lot of people say that, you know, this saves them money. It's more efficient. They don't have to change belts, yada, yada. But when a belt drive motor breaks, I can go to any supply house and get one. When you have a, a, a surface mount motor, direct drive, you know, you have to make sure everything's perfect about that thing. And it's not like my normal supply houses don't carry that motor. It's just kind of silly, you know? So I can stock it in my shop, but I don't sell one, but every, you know, four years. So I'm not going to stock that in my shop. That's a bunch of wasted money. You know, I'm basically financing stuff for the customer. It's just not going to happen. So anyways, just a bunch of politics and stuff. But, you know, my, my calls are not always these, 
you know, amazing service calls. Sometimes it's just chasing down an electrical short, finding a bad motor and, you know, running all over town to kind of get a motor. So it is what it is. Uh, but I did find it kind of funny, you know, all that grease that I showed, like that's just nuts, the incompetence of people. Um, and I was going to say, uh, at another restaurant chain, a, a totally different restaurant chain. I was at that restaurant chain this morning and I go up onto the roof and there's grease everywhere like someone dumped over an exhaust fan exactly like what i showed in that picture that was on the ground it was all over the roof and it's the exact same exhaust cleaning company i'm not going to name them but i was dumbfounded i took a bunch of pictures told you know the powers that be at that other particular restaurant chain like you guys got to get this figured out they were literally their roof drains are just saturated in grease it's it's crazy the amount of problems they're going to have because of that like the exhaust cleaning company almost needs to go and have you know pay to have those drains cleaned jetted whatever they got to do because it's just crazy it's just going to lead to problems later you know so it is what it is i really appreciate you guys making it to the end of the video i know this one was a little different a little short but it is what it is they can't always be uh you know one hit wonders or whatever um i really appreciate you guys and uh we will catch you on the next one okay